Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video on the things that confuse me. This is by popular demand. I made a video like this previously sharing some of the things that I just don't get and I was asked to make more. So I have a whole list of things that I just don't get. But I want to start with a disclaimer that if you do these things or if you like these things, I'm not having a go at you. You're not wrong. They just don't make sense to me. So you rock on with your bad self and I will just be confused over here. The first thing that I just don't get is people who seek out super, super, super spicy food. Like to the point where their nose is running and their eyes are tearing up and it's just like so super spicy. I can understand people who like some spice to their food, but to seek out like the most spicy thing on the menu, why would you want your food to hurt you? And if it's so spicy, you can't actually taste any flavors. All you can taste is like the heat and your mouth's on fire and it's not fun. So I just don't get that. I just don't understand how that's pleasurable. The next thing that I just don't get is how in America they put a microwave above the stove. I, 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 how does that work? Because it, I like, I just don't get it. I'll stand in front of my stove and I'll picture like if my microwave is there, it gets in your way. Like you can't see what's going on. You can't lean over and like stir the pot at the back because there's a freaking microwave in the way. It just doesn't make sense to me that that is where you'd put it. And then doesn't it get all damaged from like the, the steam from the stove? And it's so confusing to me that someone came up with that as an idea and everybody else was like, yeah, let's do that. Like. I do not get that. I mean, Americans probably don't get how in England people have like washing machines in their kitchen. That's just normal there. So if you are in the US and you have your microwave above the stove and you grew up with it like that, it's probably normal to you. But to me, I think it's the weirdest thing ever and I just don't get it. I don't understand why people are doing that. The next thing I don't understand is how castles become ruins. In September, I should have mentioned this in my favorites actually, we watched a series called Secrets of the Castle and it's where some British historians went to France where they're actually building a medieval castle. It's a 25 year project. They're busy building this castle using medieval materials and methods and so much work goes into it and so much time and so much effort and they're building this castle and these things actually happened in medieval times. They built all these castles with an enormous amount of labor and cost and they just have gone to ruin. And I don't understand how something that is such a big important building could be neglected by so many people over so many years to the point that they just like piles of ruined rocks. Like that's just weird to me. I guess maybe people inheriting the castle found it too expensive to upkeep. I, I don't know like isn't it cheaper to upkeep a castle than to like build a new one because like people would be building new castles why don't they just buy or take over one that nobody else wants I don't get it I just don't get it how a building can go or like a big abbey or church or monastery or whatever how they can go from these huge buildings that were so important to just ruins I just don't get it I would love to see like a, a time lapse through the centuries of like how that happened and why that happened because it's crazy to me. The next thing that I just don't get are half aprons. So you know the apron that you tie around your waist and it like covers your skirt. I don't get it like what is the point of that? I've got a harvesting apron that was made for me by Jessie and that I understand because I'm like harvesting in the garden and I can just pop it in my apron it's like a big pocket but if you're cooking or cleaning or doing anything around the house how is a half apron helpful? Like if I'm cooking, it's my chest and my front up here that's going to get splattered from sauce or oil or whatever I'm busy cooking with or baking, like flour's going to go on my top or if I'm cleaning, there's going to be dust. Like if my apron is just from the waist down, like how does that, that's useless to me. I don't get it. And you might say, oh, you can dry your hands on it. But like everywhere I wash my hands, there's a towel to dry my hands on. Like I don't need to be wearing an apron to do that. So. I don't get half aprons. And then the last thing, well, for this video anyway, like I said, I have a whole list. The last thing I don't get is why do they make gardening tools and implements with brown or green or black handles? Why? Why is this? Do you know how many tools I have lost or how many times I've been like searching in the undergrowth or amongst my plants or mulch or whatever I'm busy working with 
to find the tool that I just put down because it blends in with everything growing there. Like, why would you make a gardening tool green? You need to make it like fluorescent yellow or orange or pink where it's not even the color of a flower. It's like fluorescent neon and I can spot it instantly when I put it down in my garden. Like, yes, I know you can spray paint them or put on like fluorescent duct tape or whatever, but I don't want to have to do that. Just make them in fluorescent colors. You've got to choose the color green and make it in that color. Why don't you just choose a better color? So those are five more things that I just don't get. I would love to know your thoughts on these things. Do you get them? Do you also not get them? They're all a mystery to me. I hope you enjoyed this video and hearing me rant about the things that confuse me. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you did and I will make more of them because apparently there is no end to the things that I just don't get. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.